In the shop this week, there isn't really anything good. Cause this whole damn thing sucks. Are there still small bundles that might still be worth it? Or should you just save your money? Because in a little bit over a month, there is gonna be Black Friday. So maybe there's gonna be good events for that. So don't spend your money now on that. I mean, I don't think I have to explain to myself that buying the 5A is a bad idea, so I'm not going to. The Cobra can be a very interesting vehicle, but obviously it isn't a draw, so it's gonna be horribly overpriced and not very good, and yeah, you're gonna get a sandbox container, but with the draws, it's pretty much the way it works, is if you play the first one, uh, you get 50. For 50 gold, you can still get something decent out of them, like this, but with the draws, generally, the further you play them, the worse they become. First, second, Possibly the third one, you're still gonna get a positive return. After that, it's gonna become negative. And the Cobra is nothing more than a meme tank. It's relatively slow, it doesn't really have great armor, and it does have a gun with only heat and HE. So, not a great combination. It is a meme tank that can work really well, but I don't recommend this for the general Blitz player base whatsoever. Then, you've got a gift right here. One collect them all, five days of premium, and times five XPs, claim those, because why not? It's literally free. The KPZ RH, not worth it. It's basically a waste of space, generally, unless it's sold for cheap. So, again, you can play the first level, and the uh, ten times fives, that's good. So, for, like, 20 gold. But after that, it gets bad. Then, we're gonna go through here. If you have these individual offers, they're gonna be good, they're gonna be worth it. Like, these very cheap uh, gold bundles, very nice. You get more value than the prices, so I can recommend those. The resources, they include credits. Don't buy them. That's dumb. And in the tank section, now, just, just now, and then we got the Canadian one. I personally would recommend the Canadian one over the Shafi Chuo because it's just more well-rounded and better. Shafi Chuo can be really good if you're a good player, but I would definitely stay away from this vehicle unless you're already an excellent player. Canadian one is a great vehicle. It's not as good as the Object 752, obviously, but it is also cheaper. The Object 752 was 30 euros, same price as the Shafi Joe, but that bundle included pretty much the same uh, boosters, crew XP, all those kind of things. So, for value, we're on the same here. If you do buy a vehicle, I'd personally recommend the Kennedy one. The Caravan Action X has been overhyped since, ever since it existed. It has 190 alpha damage. The rest of its stats are okay, but 190 alpha damage, the heavy, is just not good in the battle, and you don't want to have that, so it's 190 alpha damage heavy, it's not never going to perform up to the standard of a T4A2 or a T77 or a Type 57 or a uh, Skoda T56 and all those kind of vehicles, but why are they always 50s, I don't know, but anyway, this is an entire waste of space, I mean, the SU-12244, why, like genuinely why, and then the FCM-50, it did get buffed, which is very nice, but still giant, and massive, still doesn't have good hull armor. I don't recommend this. Th these are vehicles that you collect. Like, if you already have 50 premiums and you want more, here you go. But otherwise, these aren't premium tanks that you buy straight up. And then we're getting to that. Now, I already talked about the Bugetto extensively last week. So if you want to see that, check it out. 15,000 for two tier rates is a hilariously terrible offer. So simply ignore that. Just as hilariously terrible as paying 5,500 for a camouflage. You'd have to be crazy to do that. So, we're gonna play a battle with the Chafia Churro, because uh, this vehicle is... I think the best description for this thing is awkward. Because not only does it have the turret at the back, which means every time you peek somewhere, you're gonna have to most likely do it backwards to ex expose less of your vehicle, also, this uh, tray at the back also has a collision model, which means the tank is actually longer than it has to be. Which is not very nice. Gun depression also is very lacking, so you're gonna be able to not play a lot of positions that is in the game, which is not very nice. So this is a vehicle for experts only, because the only thing good about this vehicle is the gun. So it's very awkward to play. Otherwise, it does have some mobility, but it's not the fastest of vehicles, and definitely not as fast as the entire lack of armor would want it to be. Uh, let's go and push up here. Let's go up and G up there. He just fired. I'll take a shot at him. And now we're going to see. Push forward here. Take the position. And then take the map control. Because that's what it is all about. If you control the map, you control the game. And if you then have a decent team around you, you're going to be pretty easy at winning. So let's see. Just 
take a shot at the Panther, because why not? Gone. And that battle is now already won. Because I think is the object maybe AFK. Well, yeah, the object's AFK. So I'm gonna go for these two tank destroyers here. Take them out. Obviously, gotta be a bit careful from the Conway because they got HE. That is very good, very dangerous. So we're gonna focus on that first. Scorpion is the easier target because I can HE him quickly. So I'm gonna take that out. Solve that problem. Here's the defender, which is very annoying. But ideally, I would want to move up here and hide from the defender. Um, but that's going to put me in harm's way of the type and the object who has now been resurrected from the dead. I'm just going to take a shot at this guy. It's going to miss. And I'm going to watch out for this Ice 3 defender because he is going to be very annoying. I mean, I could uh, turn around and fight him, but of course I don't have the hit points here. I can take a shot, so I'll be fine. I'll be fine peeking him. As long as I still have more than one shot worth of hit points here. I'm gonna drive past, gonna track him. The ammo's gonna put an entire clip into him. And with the ammo's clip and one shot for me, he's gonna be done. Back to AP for extra effect. And that is this game won. Alright. Go for the type, though, who's clanless and named after a Nazi. So you can already assume that they're not very competent. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, you you don't get a chance here, Bo. And obviously, I have enough hit points that if I'm just sitting in front of him, doesn't matter. So here we go. Three kills and 3,000 damage in the Shafi Cho. It's fine. But I don't recommend it to anybody that's not already a, a really good player. Bit, bit depressing shop this week, honestly. I mean, I hope there's going to be better offers eventually, but this week, eh, there's just nothing going on. So... Hopefully, see you next week. Hope it's better.